Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we'll show you how to make a lunchbox filled with glowing slime. DIY slime is a great little science experiment for the kids and can make for some really fun electronic projects. When you open the lunchbox, it triggers sound effects and lights up the slime with NeoPixel LEDs. The Circuit Playground Express turns this into an interactive lunchbox with sensors, LEDs, and sound effects. Our Adabot lunchbox is the perfect size to fit all of your parts. This is great for teaching classrooms or building those workshops. And there's plenty of room for slime so you can pack your own kit and set up shop at your next gig. So this is all you need to whip up a batch of slime. Check out the guide linked below for a full list of parts and ingredients. We'll start with Elmer's Magical Liquid. This pre-made solution combines most of the ingredients and even has measuring markers on the side of the bottle. Just pour some of this into a measuring cup and get yourself a mixing bowl. Add your favorite color of Elmer's glue. Squeeze the bottle to get out all of the gooey contents. You want to thoroughly mix these ingredients together. If it gets a little too sticky, you can add more magical liquid. Just keep kneading the ingredients together until it has a similar consistency like we have here. Stretch it out to blend the mixture until it doesn't stick so much to your hands. Once you're happy with it, you can add little bits of confetti, sequins, or glitter. Just make sure they aren't too sharp or else it could poke your hands. When you're done with your batch of slime, you can store it away in a Ziploc bag. Just make sure to get out any air. Make Code makes it easy to program the Circuit Playground Express. You can drag and drop code blocks to make interactive programs that can trigger lights and sound effects using the onboard sensors. So check out our guide on the Adafruit Learning System for details, link is in the description. Now we can work on setting up the lunchbox. You can cut out a mat to cover up the bottom and this will help keep things nice and clean. Use mounting putty to tack down the Circuit Playground Express and battery pack. You can place them inside the cover and plug in the battery directly into the board. Line the inside of the lunchbox with the strip of NeoPixels. Just make sure the LEDs are facing inwards. The silicone sheathing is grippy so it'll hold itself together. Then you can attach the alligator clips to connect the strip. You can make these little dividers by cutting them out of chipboard. Use these serving cups to create little samples of slime. You can of course add your own parts, electronics, and components to make your own custom kit. You can also use slime as capacitive touch pads. There's lots of fun project ideas to get your students excited about electronics and programming. So I hope this inspires you to check out the Circuit Playground Express and make code. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more DIY projects from Adafruit.